today I wanted to do this beautiful Taylor Swift look for you. I think it's definitely safe to say that I am in fact a self-confessed Swifty. I absolutely love Taylor, I think she's gorgeous, beautiful, amazingly talented, I love her music. Recently she performed in London for the Red Tour. It was epic, it was pretty epic. We were pretty close to the B stage if you know the O2 Arena. Oh my god, she was so close, it was awesome, I loved it and I thought she looked absolutely stunning and I wanted to recreate her makeup look for you. It looks different to the makeup that she wore in the tour book. It's a little bit more glittery and glam I think, however this is based on what I saw when she was in London. I went on Sunday the 2nd of February and it was just so, so much fun. This is my look, I hope you enjoy the tutorial. Starting off with Clarins Beauty Flash Balm, I'm just applying it all over my face and rubbing it in just a touch, just to smooth it all over the face but not actually pushing it into the skin. And I'm just taking it down the neck as well. Then I'm taking my Vichy Derma Blend Liquid Foundation and I'm just covering up all my horrible scarring marks. Taylor Swift has really perfect skin, so we're just trying to emulate how good her skin is. just adding some under the eyes as well to combat my dark circles. Next I'm taking my Maybelline Superstay 24 hour liquid foundation and I'm using a flat kabuki really dense brush to apply directly to my skin and I haven't really blended the concealer but this sort of just blends it all together and then I'm just gonna pat it in certain areas that need a little bit extra coverage. I love this brush because it really gets into all the good crevices of your face. Because it's so dense, it packs on the foundation really nicely, especially if you need high coverage like I do. Never forget to blend your foundation down to your neck. I'm just taking the powder and applying that to my face just to set the foundation onto the skin and make sure it doesn't come off. So I'm just taking a cream highlighter now and dabbing it onto the high points of my face. So it's the top of the cheekbones, the bridge of the nose, the chin and the forehead. Just a little bit on the edges of the cheeks as well. And I'm just tapping it in lightly with my middle fingers and that just sort of helps to blend out the cream just a little bit and then I'm going to go in with my brush and blend it out to mix in with the foundation so it's not too obvious that it's just like a bit of shimmer cream on your face. So I'm taking a paint pot in Let's Skate by MAC. This is just to prime the eyes. You either want to go for a nude primer or a light primer. This one is sort of white with sort of pink and gold reflex in it. I'm taking the Berry M's Fine Glitter Dust in number 9, which is a beautiful white iridescent shade. Taylor had really gorgeous white shimmery eyes, so I'm just packing that on with a MAC 218 brush, I believe. And I'm just trying to blend it out a little bit around the tops of the edges so it's not too harsh. We're going for quite a natural eyebrow look, so just using the HD Brows Kit to fill in and define the brows. And then I'm taking the Ico Skinny Mini Liquid Eyeliner, but you can just use any liquid eyeliner that you like. We're going to do a cat eye because that's how Taylor wears her eyeliner. So starting from the inner corner, I've just dragged out quite a gentle line and then I'm just dragging out the end with a little flick and then I just join up the end of the flick to sort of the middle of the eye and that gives the cat eye effect. Then just repeating on the other side, once you've done one side first and then you do the flick of the other side, it's easier to make them symmetrical. Just 
dragging that line back in and filling it in. I really like this eyeliner because it's such an easy felt tip. I'm going for some natural false lashes. Because this look is quite glamorous, we're going to use false lashes as a little enhancer. I'm going for a more naturalistic look with these eyelashes than I would like with really big fluffy eyelashes because Taylor's eyelashes aren't really that obvious. about 20 to 30 seconds for the glue to cut sort of tacky and you can tell because it starts becoming a bit see-through and then place it onto the eye with the tweezers and then I just like to use my fingers to glue the edges in and then I'll use the end of the tweezers just to push it down if I need to. Then I'm using some eyelash curlers just to blend my natural lashes and the false lashes together and then I'm using some waterproof mascara, just the small end, which is the lower lash end, from the Maybelline Big Eyes Mascara. Blend in your natural lashes to the false lashes and to define the lower lashes too. So I'm lifting up my eyelid with a brush and I'm just lining, tight lining, with a black coal pencil. And then underneath, I'm just pushing the coal into the waterline as well. So it's all very tight lined, because Taylor has very defined eyes, and they're just so beautiful. Now her eye shape is more almond eye shape. eyeshadow on the brush to set. So I'm using a peach shimmer bronzer, add some colour to my cheeks and also define. And then we've got mineralised skin finish in soft and gentle as a bit more of a highlight because it's pretty. Not forgetting the last thing is Taylor's red lips. Normally you'd use a lip liner, but I'm just putting the colour straight on from the bullet of my lipstick. Now this is quite a pinkier red, so I'm just gonna go over with a matte lip gloss from Sleek, and I absolutely love these. They can be a bit drying, but however, putting the lipstick on helps to keep in a bit more moisture so your lips don't dry out too much. And this stuff is really good because it fills in all the cracks of your lips and stays on for hours. I love the wand on this, it's really precise so you can get right into the corners of your lips. So final touch, just a bit of makeup setting spray just to keep the makeup all in place all day long. completed look. I hope you enjoyed it. I noticed she had beautifully winged eyeliner. One last step is a squirt of Taylor Swift Wonderstruck. I think she's got the three perfumes out at the moment and I've got two. I've got Wonderstruck and Wonderstruck Enchanted but I do love this one. So generally with perfumes I do three sprays. One on the side, one on the side, and then one on the top for my hair. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please let me know if you liked it in the comments below. And I'll see you again really soon with another video. Bye! Can I sing it to hairspray? We love Taylor, don't we? I did it again. Oh, it's one over there. The 
Spider-Man kisses now. I'm sorry, I have to watch it. But it's summer, it's Seth. And Seth Adam Brody married Lady Meester Blair from, um, what do you call it? That show that everyone loved, Gossip Girl. Yeah, that's the one. Such a cute story. I love that. 